Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Crypto Keith. This is Crypto Living. And if you like cryptocurrencies, the blockchain, and Bitcoin, then hit that bell down below me and be a part of the Crypto Living Notification Squad. Let's go ahead now and watch the video. What's up guys? Crypto Keith here. When we look at the market cap today, uh, Bitcoin dominance has risen from 52% to almost 55%. And we see that Bitcoin Cash has lost a little bit of its market cap. So people are starting to move money back from Bitcoin Cash into Bitcoin. So just a heads up there that if you have money in Bitcoin Cash and haven't moved it back over to Bitcoin, um, you should do, do some of that now. Have some money in Bitcoin because Bitcoin is uh, ready for another run. It might even reach uh, new all-time highs in the next week or two. If we look at our top gains, we have storage, eight share and Lisk, as well as Metaverse, IOTA, and IXET RLC. We have then uh, Game Credits and Cryptonex. So, our uh, most expensive coin here is 8 shares and then Lisk. We are going to do a review of Lisk right now for you. So Lisk is up 20%. <clears throat> it has a circulating supply of 114, basically 115 uh, million Lisk, which is not bad. Uh, $58 million in volume, $59 million in volume in the past 24 hours. And the market cap is um, it's almost a billion dollars. So Lisk is a very strong coin. There's a lot of people that uh, that are very into this coin and think it will do very well. And if you go to the Reddit post, you will see um, that there are some Lisk fanboys out there for sure. And fangirls. So Lisk is... If you look at their social media recently, they're taking new headshots for their website. They're pleased to see that Lisk is a trending repository on GitHub today. Community support extends into the world of gaming. Here's a scene from Call of Duty World War II. Many Lisk team members are gamers. We hope to see blockchain technology further embedded in this industry. Any ideas on how Lisk could optimize gaming in the future? Pretty cool, guys. We're happy to announce that we've released Lisk Explorer to uh, Explore 1.40 with extended enhanced UX slash UI, improved performance. So it's an enhanced user interface, bug fixes, and website analytics for, uh, for Lisk. They have a new job opening for a videographer, video editor. They're having meetups. Um, I'm not sure where that is. They're uh, attending lots of conferences, which is amazing. Blockchain panels. Berlin meetups. Crypto dinner party. Be cool, guys. Lisk seems like a very exciting project. And I'll have to follow their social media. 
currently on uh, exchanges like Bittrex, Poloniex, and the Yobit, as well as BitBay, HitBTC, and a couple others. So if you would have bought May 2017, that would have been an amazing time to buy. I was holding uh, Lisk since probably 2016, and I think I sold them off when I saw um, that it was just hovering here and, and slowly going down. But this is why before you sell a coin, you should look into the project, see what's up upcoming in the future. Um, and I'm learning to do a lot more research and uh, and follow what's going on with the tokens before I sell and uh, or buy. So there's some bad habits we get into when we're just getting into cryptocurrency trading. And uh, and we can go on this journey together and learning some better habits to help educate us and not make uh, stupid decisions on emotion. And uh, me, I have a, a downfall where I like even numbers. And it it's just the way a human brain looks at markets, it tries to pick out patterns and tries to make things uh, easier for the brain to understand and look at when that's not the best way to trade. The best way to trade is to understand what's going on in the tokens and uh, know whether a token um, is promising, promising things in the future, know whether there's hype around it, and know the news surrounding it, as well as learning to understand stand, uh, the charts and how to predict patterns and things like that. Which, uh, honestly, this is why a lot of people are using bots for trading because they take the emotion and the human brain out of it and uh, they just trade and do what they're supposed to. So, uh, if you follow our channel, we're definitely going to do some reviews and try out some bots for trading. That's one of the things on our list of things to do and videos to make. But looking at LISC here, who could have known that it was going to go up? Well, if you were following their social media, their website, and their announcements, as you probably would have seen this was coming. But if you're just looking at the numbers on the, the markets and uh, looking at a short-term uh, pers perspective of it, Obviously, you're going to decide to sell if you're sitting here. But looking at the big picture, taking a step back, is what we need to train our minds to do. So right now it's at $8. It could go up past $10. And a lot of people think it'll pass uh, $50 or even $100. And maybe even surpass the price of Ether. Why is this? Well, Lisk is actually... Um, almost like ether, Ethereum in a way. It is, uh, it is basically, uh, it's not really a blockchain smart contract project. It's more of a decentralized applications project. And so it builds uh, a blockchain um, and it runs off of decentralized applications. So it's basically um, something that you can take and makes uh, building a blockchain project easier and more simple. It gives you uh, basically some tools to use to build your project. And it's kind of the same way Ethereum gives you um, a base in a blockchain where you can create side chains and uh, your own projects on side chains. This does the same thing. So if we go to their website um, here, actually this is their social media, this is their website. So blockchain application platform, 
so you can download their Lisk Nano uh, desktop wallet, and that's where they suggest you hold your Lisk. The future potential of Lisk application platform. Three simple steps towards your own blockchain application. Step one, code. Building credible applications. Decentralized block, it's not spelt right. Decentralized blockchain applications will be built on Lisk from the ground up in pure JavaScript and take advantage of the powerful Lisk APIs. In addition, every app will run in its own sidechain to ensure that Lisk itself stays safe and scalable. Currently in development, these features will become available towards the fourth quarter of 2017. Step two, deploy. Easy rapid deployment. The Lisk platform will allow for a multitude of storage options for your blockchain applications. Deploy your code in a zip archive to services such as GitHub or a web server. And once deployed, you can register your applications on the Lisk platform by filing in necessary fields like name, description, tags, and the download link. Step three, use. Unlock the power of Lisk. Store your code on GitHub or web server, secured by worldwide decentralization computation of code. Monetize applications by providing a seamless experience for users. The Lisk network is a decentralized powerhouse by utilizing our extensive user base and end users and developers can find third-party nodes to execute further blockchain applications through servers all around the world in a truly decentralized manner. As a developer, grow the application's user base through the combined efforts of the Lisk directory and the Lisk global community network. So they have these collaborations. It seems like a German or Swiss company they have some uh, seeming germ seemingly German uh, partners. And uh, again, Reddit and Twitter are where uh, you can keep in contact with them. So we have some of their frequently asked questions over here. What is Lisk? Lisk is a blockchain application platform established in early 2016 based on its own blockchain network and token, LSK. Lisk will enable developers to create distribute and manage decentralized blockchain applications by deploying their own sidechain linked to the Lisk network, including a custom token. Thanks to the flexibility of sidechains, developers can implement and customize their blockchain applications entirely. What problem is Lisk solving? In early 2016, after several years participating with blockchain industries, um, these two gentlemen saw a lack of developer adoption with the vision to make blockchain technology more accessible, they imagined a blockchain framework which accelerates and simplifies development. Kind of like Ethereum. I'm sure they got some of their ideas from Ethereum. What makes the Lisk platform different? Lisk is more than just developer tools. It's an opportunity to become a part of the biggest technological innovation since the internet. So Lisk aims to make blockchain technology more accessible with an uh, software developer kit written in JavaScript. Special focus on user experience, developer support, and in-depth documentation. So we can go over here. How long does a transfer, how long does it take for a transfer to go to or from an exchange. Exchanges have their own safety measures before accepting incoming transactions or confirming outgoing transactions. Like stated in the previous question, the Lisk blockchain takes 10 seconds for a transaction to go through. However, we can have no control over how many confirmations exchanges require. So how can you buy list tokens? You can buy them on exchanges like Bittrex, Poloniex, Yobit, and Juby. There are list tokens, LSK tokens, that can be exchanged for other cryptocurrencies, including Bitcoin. Except for the Chinese yuan and Japanese yen, it is currently not possible to buy list tokens directly with fiat currencies. Our goal is to make this possible in the future. 
which many tokens still have yet to solve the problem of. Um, right now, if you want to cash out on your tokens, you have to turn them into Bitcoin, send the Bitcoin over to somewhere like local Bitcoins, and then sell those Bitcoin, uh, or use a credit card that you spend your cryptocurrencies with. But the problem is, the way I do it, sending Bitcoin, transferring my tokens into Bitcoin, and then selling my Bitcoin, well, we know that with Bitcoin, we have these huge fees now, and uh, it would be really nice if we could directly sell things uh, like Lisk into fiat currency. When did the Lisk network go live? It went live on May 24th, 2016. It raised over 14,000 Bitcoin. And uh, they received contributions between February and March of 2016. So their, their ICO is long over. During the ICO... A um, hundred million LISC were distributed across the following groups. Again, they recommend that you store them in the LISC Nano Wallet, which is all good. What is the difference between decentralized applications and smart contracts? Decentralized applications include the whole package of front end, what the user sees, and back end, the logic behind it. A smart contract, on the other hand, consists only of the back end and often only a small part of it. This means that if you want to create a decentralized application on a smart contract system, i.e. not with LISC, you have to combine several smart contracts and rely on third party systems for the front end. So LISC makes it easier to, uh, it basically gives you the whole package, everything you need, rather than having to use a bunch of different uh, systems together to get the same effect. What are the possible use cases for decentralized applications? Possible use cases include applications that offer proof of ownership, improved online identity verification, or asset management. We have here business and strategy. Why do LISC establish a foundation? Why did they establish a foundation? LISC believes that general purpose protocols should be non-profit. While the protocols and applications built on top of them can be for profit. Same with the internet. TCP slash IP is non profit, while new websites on top are very often for profit. Why is LISP based in Zug, Switzerland? So there we go, it's in Switzerland. Easy and fast incorporation, support from government and promising developments, security for the founders. What is Lightcurve? The founders of LISC Foundation and visionaries behind the LISC project want to contribute to the development and promotion of the platform. As a result, they created a blockchain consultancy called Lightcurve in order to do exactly that. This is the most effective way of achieving the ambitious goals of LISC. Who does LISC work with? Focusing on decentralization, the LISC Foundation is hiring contractors all over the world. So PR, product strategy and research, rebranding and user experience, development and marketing, legal accounting, and fund liquidation. So they are planning to rebrand as well. There's some more uh, info here, but in this Reddit post here, we see here, um, Told my roommate about all the cool things about to happen to Lisk, rebranding, having Sapiens, possible Google partnership, and he just bought 50 Lisk. If the Google partnership happens, it could surpass Ethereum. So this is what some people are saying on Reddit. So basically, this is what you want to uh, look for. What's happening in the future? And I've yet to find uh, where they talk about a lot of these things on uh on the LISC website, but they did talk about the rebranding we just read. It is a good time still to get in, in LISC, so there's lots of things are going to happen, and if this Google partnership happens, um, the moon is the limit for LISC. That's all for today. We'll see you next time. Peace.